we're back. We're back to health and disease. So, today we are going to look at the differences between infectious and non-infectious diseases. And you, my friends, need to, at the end, be able to roughly compare infectious and non-infectious diseases, which means what are they, uh, what does it mean, and how do we, what are some of the different types. Let's go. So, first off, we've got a couple of definitions. Infectious is interchangeable with the word communicable, by the way. So, communicate, communicable can be communicated, I guess, from one person to the other. Um, so, an infectious disease is able to be passed from one person directly, or from one organism, directly to another organism at the same time. So, one individual to another individual. Um, and that's important that we, we go from one individual to another, but we understand that that's what it means. Now, infectious, asterisk, comes out in a second. Not infectious means you can't pass it from one individual to another individual. Um, please don't confuse this with inherited diseases, okay? So I know we can look at an inherited disease and say that a child gain that from one of their parents. It's not the same thing, it's not an infectious disease and we'll see, we'll probably talk about that more in class. Um, there's a good question when you, for your question you have to bring in. Alright, so that's our definitions. Now let's focus on the types of disease. Okay, now an infectious disease they tend to be organisms. There's one called prions, which we won't get too much into, so they're, they're not even on this list. You have the microorganisms, which are viruses, bacteria, protozoa, and fungi. Um, then you have the macroparasites. These are your, so tapeworm, etc. These are your infectious diseases. That, they're, where, they're where your infectious diseases come from. Non-infectious is actually a bit more complicated. So we have the genetics, and that can be broken down to inherited or mutations. Uh, so you can have a mutation in your genes that stops working during your life, or you can be born with that mutation that doesn't work. There are environmental diseases, so it can be caused by chemical, radiation, um, yeah, so forth, etc., etc., etc. Let's move on. Lifestyle. Now, these can include nutrition, uh, healthy habits, drugs, and you can definitely see some overlap between environmental and lifestyle. And finally, we'll finish off with mental illness. That's it. We're pretty short today. Like that's, that's all I need you to really get from it to move on in class. So, the different types of diseases are... The big categories are infectious and non-infectious, and they can be then be broken down to sub-categories here. And that's pretty much all the diseases we're going to cover in this course, all the types. Alright, good luck.